Hey, are you giving me your attention? Oh, thank you. You give, I take. And then I'll give, you take, okay? So anyway, this is what we call SG Cares Giving Week. That's right, giving moments is the best week ever. It's happening from the 1st to the 7th of December. The SG Cares Giving Week movement celebrates the spirit of giving and seeks to make giving part of our way of life. It is where people give and share their time, their talent, their treasure, and their voice to support any cause they are passionate about in all ways. Big and small. And this other little acts when multiplied by millions will definitely make a world of difference. Thank you for watching us on SG Cares Giving Week. Anyway, uh, SG Cares uh, Giving Week is jointly organized by SG Cares, uh, of course, NVPC and NCSS. Thank you very much. And this episode, we're going to talk about sports, we're going to talk about arts, we're going to talk about heritage. And to do that, I need people who can talk with me because I want to talk a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody around the world, let's welcome now Lim KSU and Nyo Sri Lin. Yay! Yay. And Pam Wee, you're on too. Pam Wee! Woo. What's up, everybody? How are you? So Very good. good. You're so cute. You love all the characters, <laughs> right? Hey, I'm always nice. happy to do anything with Pam. That's yeah. right. You know why? Yeah. Because for once, there's somebody that is shorter than me. <laughs> It's uh, true. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It, it doesn't matter. Big or small, we're doing it together. Yeah. Okay, so I just want everybody to, to you know, come together and then what we'll do is we're going to say that line right there in front. We can see it. Together, let's build a Singapore that cares. Okay, uh, and okay. the count of three, everybody, we're okay, going to okay, say okay. this before we start, okay? Together, together let's build a Singapore, Singapore that cares. cares. Yay! Yay. Okay, so um, we're going to talk a bit about like sports. We begin with uh, sports. Ah, sports, okay. okay. Because, uh, that's my I, department. That's the most serious department. sport I ever played was the rugby. Most serious rugby. rugby. I played for Singapore. I played for Singapore under twenty three. Uh -huh. I played for army. Wow. I played for my formation artillery. My goodness. Of course, I learned it in uh, school. Wait, what school are you from? Okay, ACS. Okay. Uh -huh. And then boarding school in England. Okay, okay. But okay. so you didn't learn it in Singapore. No, no, no. <laughs> I learned it in England. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I came back I for came army, back. Uh -huh. then played for army. My right. goodness. And you were like, what, the Q bag? The, the... I was a fly half fly and half. center. Rugby yeah. is an amazing game, you know? It's an amazing game. Okay, a lot of people say it's rough It's a and really tough, but... tough game, so oh, good. it means that the sportsmanship has to be even more. Ah. The fact that we help each other, the fact that we look out for each other wow. is really important. Okay. And you even look out for the other team. Okay, what do you mean by look out for the other team? It's because like... it's so rough, you don't want people to get hurt. If That's somebody right. really hurt by your own team, Teammate, that you will go and say, Are you okay? You will pick them up. Oh, oh. And because you can get some really bad injuries. No in wonder this game. some people say, like, Rugby is a gentleman's game. You have to be. You so, to uh, be. gentleman means like you, you have to look like rough and tough, but yet, like, oh, I'm going to hit you now. Slowly, <laughs> slowly. <laughs> Fair tackle takes uh, the win out of you. You uh, still say, Good tackle, mate. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. So, there's a lot of sportsmanship in uh, it. It's really, what, what sportsmanship? Uh, yeah, for me, my uh. goodness means. Sports was the thing that really, you know, it's the kind of thing that you dread, like, oh, <laughs> what are you good at? <laughs> it's like, oh, I, you know, when I first did high jump, uh, uh -huh. back in the day, uh -huh. there was no mats, right? Yeah. Basically, high jump was you jump over this pole and there Go were these the gunny sacks. Sack. And then, like, in your mind, all you could <laughs> think so of, painful. these gunny sacks are going to split up and you're going to hit the floor, right? <laughs> And the only <laughs> athletics that they would let me run mm -hmm. was the, and you all don't laugh, huh? Okay. I know you all, it's not the 4 by one it's not the 4x2. Okay. There was only one relay in my time where you needed 8 runners. Ah, uh, ah, so ah, it was ah. the 8 by something. 8x3 eight eight or something. Yeah, I think 4x4, 8x3. All by, eight I know three. is that <laughs> I was only pulled in because no choice. How? Got eight? How can you find eight runners? That's the only time I've Eight runners run 300 meters. <laughs> yeah, eight really? tiring, you know. So wow. 300 meters Crazy. is tiring, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or eight by two, something. All I know is that there were eight. <laughs> la. So that means uh, I am, of all the runners, uh, that means you reach eight. La. You know what I mean? There's eight result. <laughs> yeah. What well, is this? No, a number? Spot's not for me. La. Yeah, but yeah, Pam, what, uh, uh, the kind of sports you sports, love. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I used to play a lot of ping pong with these people. Ping pong! Ah! With this... Ping pong! Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Tell us the history of how your ping pong gets to be linked I, with these people. I don't know. There, there <laughs> was happened? a phase where suddenly we yeah. just decided, hey, let's go and play ping pong. And then yeah, we yeah. like, we'll seek out all the ping pong tables that were in void decks, which have sadly yes. all been taken away. But what most people don't know yeah. is that Lim K. Oh, yes. 
is very good ping pong player. Very good ping okay? pong. Oh. He's damn serious. Yeah. He served there. You oh, he's it. really wow. good. He's also really left-handed. Good. Yeah, he's also left-handed. Left he's hard to play again. So okay. once he serves, that's just that's if it. you you can't even return it. So it's like, goodness. Yeah. And that's so, it. Yeah, no. So that's why right I want to I used to, to wake up at four o'clock every morning to go and play. Ping pong is four four eight, four, yeah, So four he's seven. trying to tell people like, oh, I'm a rugby player. But actually, before he was a rugby player, he was, a... he was Singapore under 12, 12 ping pong champion. <laughs> of course. In 1967. 1920. <laughs> 1967. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. At, at this time, right, if I remember correctly, you were very fat. I was, oh, I was very fat. Well, I was obese. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Premier 1 Under to Premier 6. 12, wow. ping pong champion of Singapore, very fat. Uh, uh, did you wake up 4 a.m. in the morning no, to no. join KZU? No, no, because huh? I was not born yet. 1967. <laughs> yeah, you were not born yet. You see how old okay, I am? Okay. From sports, let's talk about something. You know, arts and you guys, yeah. it's, like, it's synonymous. <laughs> really, really. I think that's a huge compliment because I, I'm a big fan. As, oh, as good as well. I'm a big you. fan. You know, it's just like you, you when you're on stage or you're on, on visual and screen and something like whenever I see you, what is your take on that? You know, it's like is it is I it, it your that, life? Is I mean, it your you know like uh, as we know recently yeah. the arts have been deemed uh, non-essential. It, it's so important, right? Yeah, right. it, 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 it's the it's the soul, it's the soul exactly. It's yeah. the soul of a society, and uh, it, of course, art comes in all mm. forms, and we haven't been able to practice it mm. yeah. this year very much uh, in in the live format, right? Mm. So yeah, it's very tough and. You know, I never thought I'd enter the arts. I loved music, but I was trained as a scientist, mm -hmm. but I failed. <laughs> <laughs> but I never expected to be an actor, and mm. it's it's an amazing job because I felt mm. that once I got into working as a professional, yeah, I mean, it wasn't really about making the money or being in so many shows a year. Right. It was about giving love, you know, mm. to every project that you were doing. All right. And so you're giving ultimately you're giving love to your community. Fantastic. You know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so and, and during, it's, it's just like you're like you know when, when I look at you, eh. sometimes you're like you're like the most uh, the most aggressive mother, you know, Ooh. in Portugal. But sometimes you're like that sweet little girl oh, next door. So like, how do you switch from? <laughs> how do you actor. do that? Yeah. It's like you're a different person all the time. It's, it's like, called acting. Right? <laughs> okay, okay. No, but come, well, I mean, come on, you should know. You know this, right? As, a, know as a an actor, bit. you know the roles that are given to you are your are the gift, mm, right? And mm. then what you bring to it, you, know, you just do your best, right? But yeah. I, I may have been lucky that I was given good roles to play. I think this is important where we, you know, we show some good vibes through great positivity and then we you know pass from generation to another let's talk a little bit about the heritage stuff cool because we inherit a couple of things and yeah. uh, i'm pretty sure you know people around you not only your generation but i think people around you get that nice vibes where they can actually practice it and see examples in the progress here right now yes okay yeah. and then for Pam. Okay, so during covid and uh, during the whole circuit breaker there was absolutely no work and um <laughs> One of my friends, Ivan Heng, I had given him a bottle of my mother's recipe of garlic chilli at Christmas. And then when uh, CB happened, he was like, girl, I think you can bottle this and sell that. So I'm like, oh, bottle and sell. <laughs> so that's what I did. So this oh. recipe comes from my grandmother. Okay. Uh, it's my father's mother. She was a nonia. Wow. And she created this condiment, which is a, a, a beautiful garlic chilli mm. that goes with a lot of different types of food. Mm -hmm. And then she passed it on to my mum, okay. who was the only daughter-in-law who wanted to learn all the recipes wow. and my mum passed it on to me. Thank and goodness. And so now she's yeah. given me this gift and I'm wow. now giving this wow. to anybody who wants to order it for $15. <laughs> <laughs> you can find the Google order form on my Instagram. It's awesome. Bio. It's awesome. Yes. Or, or you could share $15 or more with the SG <laughs> Gas. Yes, 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 I don't mind. Yeah. You don't buy my chilli, never okay. mind. But please give to the SG Cares Giving mm. Week Fund generously. And we're going to do something here. We're going to decorate the trees behind you. These right. are known as giving trees. Okay. Okay. And then giving trees means uh, we're going to show some symbolism. We're going to have like this whole nice, beautiful oh. decoratives. And then we're going to get you to actually take and pick whatever your favourite. And mm. then we're going to dress up the trees behind. You know, by the time we come to almost to the end of this uh, mm. whole entire series, the whole trees looks beautifully decorated. Wonderful. Nice. That's from our hearts to you too. And yeah. hopefully right. the yeah. 
the yeah. SG Cares Giving Week Fund yeah. will also be beautifully decorated with your money. Yes. Nicely huh? put it. Yeah, beautiful. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, pick a couple of uh, nice uh, decorative here. Just a couple. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Was it like almost done almost every other week that you have all these ping pong yeah, tournaments? Yeah, we really huh? did. So fun, almost, huh? yeah. Every week we would play ping pong. Oh. Ah, oh, hey, cool. oh, oh, it came out. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I take another one. Lucky, lucky. So anyway, uh, everybody, right. look like we are decorating this thing and we just hope that you also will decorate the SG Cares Giving Fund. Yeah, and, please. Uh, we're going to move on to our next uh, section. We're going to play some games. Yay. Yay. All right. Okay, we have so much fun talking about sports and arts and heritage. I think we, we do a little bit of sports section. We're going to send Pam as the ping pong ball over the other side oh. onto the green screen. And then Pam, you, you wouldn't know and you have no clue what exactly is the thing behind you. Okay, so I'm okay, going to stand so in front of the green screen, the green screen and I don't and know what it is. You don't know what it is and okay. you're going to be a reporter. So I'm, if really, I'm we're going gonna... to be a reporter. A reporter. <laughs> right. Yes, you're okay, going to ping can, pong can, you can. all the way there. Okay. Don't worry. Take your time. Okay. Uh, we can do this as fast as uh, one minute or we can just wait for another year before we get the answer right. Okay? Okay. All right. When you're ready? Yes. Let's go, Pam. Good evening, everyone. I'm uh, here reporting live and it's rather cold. Oh, is it, is it because you're in the water, Pam? Um, yes, that possibly could be it. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, can I take another question? It's, uh, you're in the water because it's an event represented by five rings. That's right. I'm right here at the Olympics and uh, I... The capital of Brazil. And I am in uh, Sao Paulo. Uh, 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 de Janeiro, Pam, De Janeiro. I'm in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, it's I'm so in nice. Rio de Janeiro and I'm in the water. Pam, how uh, does it feel to, to, to know that this young boy has made Singapore proud and has made history? I mean, as a Singaporean, I stand here um, reporting to you that Joseph Schooling has indeed broken the record for the 100-meter butterfly event. And he beat the greatest... Who was the greatest the swimmer that he beat? It, it was one of his heroes, of course. Everyone knows this. It was Ian Thorpe. Um, um, Even better, he beat... The, Even he, better! He beat... Uh, beat. Uh, his first name is Road the Boat Ashore. Michael Phelps yeah. was beaten. <laughs> Michael Phelps was beaten by a young boy called Joseph schooling where pam um and they were at the brazilian olympics at rio de janeiro in the year that trump was elected in 2016 and i'm in the water because i just want to swim also pam, pam, get out of the water Yay! now wow. <laughs> yes wow <laughs> yes welcome our reporter pam. back to the studio That's oh so my pam. goodness wow. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next game. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting because since you guys are very uh, knowledgeable, we are? very artistic and just sporty, competitive. <laughs> competitive. Okay. What we're going to do is like this Ferris wheel. We're going to pick a card okay. and then what we're going to do is uh, be, uh, behind the card, there's uh, actually a word. I'm going to read and I'm going to try to spell it. Okay. Spell it out and then you tell me what it means. Oh, okay. okay. So we're going to go Ooh. in turns. Okay. Which one do you think I should pick? Like the purple, the yellow or the blue one? Purple. 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 Wow. There you go. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. <clears throat> the word is chorophobia. Okay. C-H-O-R-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. Chorophobia. Chorophobia. Yeah, chorophobia. Yeah, I assume that the pronunciation is... C-H-O-R-O. 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 Choro. And phobia. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that oh, is the fear of wearing watches. <laughs> wearing watches. <laughs> <laughs> I would, say uh, it's a fear of sausages. So, <laughs> Very good. So, I think it's a fear of, of uh, <clears throat> chocolate. Oh. Fear of chocolate. Yeah. Okay, we have doctors in the house and then these are the new <laughs> medical terms if you want to learn now. Chorophobia phobia yeah. is fear of dancing. <gasps> like what was that? Choro oh. Yeah, I guess it was choreo, chorophobia. Hey, that's me. That's me. I have That's me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we had so much fun. Yeah. And the fun is to bring up the fun in us so that we have fun in helping other people. Yes. So, uh, therefore, we, we want to help 
those uh, organizations. And that's the reason why we have this SG Cares Giving Week. Mm. This is the best time for us to do that because this is the best moment and the best week to give. We say please give from your heart. Please give to charities that are not receiving much funding. Mm. And this is what SG Cares Giving uh, Week is all about. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's a special time of the year where there will be a lot of people who will be in need. So please do give uh, whatever you can, as generously as you can. Thank you very much guys for being on board and you know, bringing some smiles. And just That alone is a charity by itself, right? Hey. You're making people smile. And uh, for those of you watching us, don't forget to spread the word, spread the love, sharing is caring. Do not forget to join us on our next episode, which is tomorrow, where we have our special guest. We have New Swilin, we have Lin Kei Siu, the ukulele is still here. We have Sebastian Tan, Yay. the Broadway bang of the world. Awesome. Right. So don't forget to join us again. And uh, let's do this together because we're doing this for the love of our place that we grew up. We have memories and we do want to help one another. Yeah. So let's do this together and say it together. Even you watching us right now. Together, together let's build a Singapore, Singapore that cares. Thank you. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Oh,